Alrighty guys, so let's talk about how to do some addition in binary. So the cool thing is, is that here are all the five possible scenarios that you will have to remember for binary addition. So there are only five cases. So let's go over them. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. And one plus one is zero, carry the one. If you haven't watched my previous video explaining why this is, right, and number systems, uh, just to recap really quick, you should. But just to recap really quick again, it's um, binary number systems carry uh, when we go over 1, while we carry when we go over 10, right? So this is 12, but you know, there's no more room. So we drop down the 1, right? Now this last case is also a bit odd. It's 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 carry the 1. So uh, an analogy that I use to sort of make sense of this is 5 plus 5 plus 5. Right? We know this equals 10, so we know we have to carry right here, right? But we still have 5 left over, this 5 here, so that just goes right down here. So hopefully that makes sense as to why this one, this scenario, 1 plus 1 plus 1, uh, there's a 1 here, and we do a carry of 1. All right? All right, so let's do a problem really quick. So given a bit with a 4, this will come into play later. Uh, add these two binary numbers. So if you haven't done this problem before, then um, it's all right. We're going to go over it. But a uh, little hint, if you want to take an educated guess, we go from right to left. Right? We add the same way as we do in decimal. We go from right to left, and we carry as needed. So I'm going to go over it in 3, 2, uh, 1, if I can pull out the uh, color picker. Sometimes I can't. I'm going to do this in blue. So 1 plus 0 is uh, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, right, this case over here. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry the 1, right, this case over here. 1 plus 1 is 0, and then carry the 1, and then this one goes here. So this number, right, 0, 1, 1, 1, is the number 7 in decimal. And this number, 1, 1, 1, 0, is the number 14 in decimal. So we know that 7 plus 14 in decimal is 21. But I said given a bit with a 4. So this answer may potentially have two answers because of the finite limits of computers. So given a bit with a 4 means that that last bit over here, this guy, gets ignored. What, 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 what would the answer be then? Well, the answer would be 5 because this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So we get 4 plus 1, and that would be 5. But if we could include and expand to 5 bits, uh, we would get 16, right? These two here uh, would be 20, and then this one here, 20 plus 1, would be 21, which is the sort of true decimal sum answer that we've been accounted, that we've been uh, conditioned to know. But again, computers have finite limits, and you may uh, end up with problems where you ignore and cannot expand to the uh, number of bits necessary to represent a number in the range. In fact, if I pull up uh, the table uh, right over here, if I can just scroll to the right, right here, hopefully you guys can see. It's too far. So if you guys can see this table over here to the right, uh, here are all the possible combinations of 4-bit uh, numbers. And you can see that there is no room for the number uh, 21 here, right? We can only go up to 15 given a bit with a 4, that cannot expand. If we do want to go up to more, again, we have to expand the bit width. Uh, given a bit with a 5, right, uh, we would get a uh, bit width, 5, so 5, 2 to the 5th power, uh, minus 1, would be the maximum uh, number we can represent in a 5-bit width. So this would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2, 4, and then minus 1. So this is, uh, let me see, I can just scroll down. I don't know why. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 31, because of this minus 1. So 31 is the maximum number a 5-bit width can give us. So again, just keep in mind, the answer here is 21 or 5 if we can expand. So let's do some other problems to sort of solidify this. 
if you go to this website, uh, just-systems.netfly.app, and you go to the uh, binary edition exercises, uh, unsigned, right, right here, 2.17, uh, you can start practicing with these. So let's do a few problems. So I've taken a problem from the website and copied it here. Uh, try to do it on your own before I go over it in three, two, one. All right, so uh, let's add these two binary numbers given the bit with a four. So let's see, zero plus zero is zero, one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one, one plus one is zero, carry the one, right? This case over here. So we have two answers because there are five bits here, but we said we only have room for four given a bit with a four. So let's highlight those. All right, so let's do the sort of true sum that we're familiar with uh, in our uh, bring up of what we know is the truth. So the true sum is uh, 16 plus 4 plus 2. So 16 plus 4 plus 2 is uh, 22. Right, 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. All right. And the sort of uh, overflow sum, because we don't have enough room, to fit this one is uh, 4 plus 2, which is 6. So uh, 22 or 6, let's punch that in. So uh, if there are two answers, write the one with the highest number first, comma the second answer. So let's do that. It's, uh, what was it again? 22 or 6? So 22, comma 6. So check. Got that right. Let's go to the next one. Uh, so given a bit with a 7, add these two binary numbers. So let me just copy this. Move it over. All right, so pause the video and see if you can take a swing at it before I do. So let me just write this problem out. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, one, one, zero. So add these numbers. I'm going to go over it in three, two, and one. All right. So one plus one is one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. One plus one plus one is uh, one. Carry the one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. And one plus one again is zero. Carry the one. So we have an overflow case again. We just marked the seven bits. So uh, you should be familiar with this by now. Uh, powers of two, convert these to sort of decimal. So this is one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 1, 28. So the true sum, let's do that one first, is 128 plus eight plus one. So 128, plus eight plus one. So this is 16 plus one is 17. Carry the one, uh, that's three, one. So 137 is the true sum if we can expand to one more bit. But the overflow case is, uh, let's see, eight plus one, which is nine. So 137 or nine. So let's punch that in. So 137 comma nine. There we go. Let's do one more for good measure. Uh, given a bit with a six, add these two numbers. All right. So I'm going to screenshot this, copy, paste it in here. So if you guys can take a swing at it, I recommend you do, but I'm going to go over it once I get it, once I write it down. So zero, zero, one, one, zero, one. Zero one zero 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 zero. So given a bit width of six, add these two. Uh, I'm gonna go over it in three, two, and one. So uh, one plus one, one plus zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. One and zero. So there is no overflow case. Uh, our sort of number here perfectly fits within the bit width of six. So let's just evaluate the answer. So it's a uh, 
write down our powers of 2. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So it's 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. Write these here. And they are, let's see, 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 8 is 28, plus 1 is 29. So 29 is the only answer here because there is no overflow case. So let's just type this in. 29, check, and we are done. So there are a lot of other uh, exercise problems. See so if you can complete the rest on your own. And I will catch you in the next one.